Ready to place a trade? Let's walk through how to place a market or limit order. In Scotia Online, there are a few ways to do this, but today we'll use the Trade Hub. Expand the iTrade menu item and select Trade. This Trade Hub displays a different type of securities you can invest in. Select Stocks and ETFs to place an equity order. A trade ticket will appear. Start by entering the name of the company or the symbol. Select your investment of choice. A summary of the stock details will display. For example, last trader price, the price at which the stock was last sold, change in value in dollar and percentage, bid, the current best price investors are willing to pay for shares, ask, current best price investors are willing to sell the shares. Those numbers in the brackets, they tell you how many shares are available at the bid and ask prices. Previous close refers to the prior day's final price of a security when the market's officially closed for the day, along with a security performance chart for the current trade date. First, select the account you would like to place this trade in. Then indicate the order type, either buy or sell. Two common price types are market and limit orders. A market order is the simplest type of order. It allows you to buy or sell a stock immediately at the current market price. This is ideal when you want to make a quick trade and are less concerned about the exact price. Enter the number of shares you would like to buy. Review the details, then click the Buy button to place your order. Your order is placed instantly at the best available price. A limit order allows you to set the price at which you're willing to buy or sell a stock. It can act as a risk management tool, placing a maximum on the price you're willing to pay or a minimum at which you're willing to sell. Unlike a market order, the trade will only happen if the stock reaches the specified price or better. What's the downside? Your order might not get filled if the stock doesn't reach your limit price. Enter the number of shares you would like to trade. And the duration. This lets you decide how long you want the order to stay open. Click the Review Order button. Review your new trade details under Active Orders or select View All Orders to manage your active, completed, or rejected trades. 